Okay, so we're just going to have a quick look at how to uh, add knobs and sliders into meta sounds. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just make sure, obviously, you've got meta sounds installed. I'm sure you do, but uh, it doesn't come installed by default. So just go into plugins and have a look here. Uh, I'm using version 1.0, so obviously, any updates, there might be some big changes on how any of this works. Um, but for now, this is how everything works. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, open up a meta sound sound source. If you don't have one, you can just create one here. Uh, I'm going to open up this one that we already have, uh, and then to, to create a slider or a fader, what we need to do is create a new input. So uh, I can create an input here, and then uh, this is the first thing you sort of need to keep track of is sliders and knobs only currently work with two uh, types. So obviously by default you're in Boolean. Uh, they only work with floats and time at the moment. Uh, so floats, obviously, you want to use that for volume, you want to use that for frequency, uh, and time you'd want to use for, like, obviously, delay and maybe BPM. Uh, there's some other types you might want to be able to use this with, like int, uh, if you were going to do like tap delays, but uh, at the moment it isn't available. So what we do is just create an input of, let's say, a float, uh, and we're just going to go into this uh, widget section here, and we can just change this to either slider, uh, or we can change it to knob. Uh, and so I'll just run through the settings. Same is true, obviously, with time, uh, slider, knob. Uh, okay, cool. And so what we can do now is we can have a look at the settings. So start with, uh, you have the slider value uh, and you can change the value type. So you can have this as linear, which is just obviously like zero to one, classic thing. You can change the range up here. Uh, we have frequency. Frequency you obviously want to use for more like frequency based stuff, changing the frequency of a synthesizer or a slater or uh, using it for an EQ maybe, something like that. Uh, and then you have uh, volume, which is specifically in dBs, which obviously you want to use for uh, for your volume and stuff. Uh, and time, you have the same options, but I'd say you probably want to stick with linear. Um, you also have the option to change on slider. You have this orientation option, uh, which just allows you to change between vertical and uh, horizontal there. Uh, you know, this might be better if you're doing some mixing stuff. This might be better if you're doing maybe, uh, I don't know, like a frequency fader thing like that. Um, okay, so that's how you do that. Pretty simple. Uh, what is this sort of used for? So it's quite useful for uh, if you want to like quickly tune in values. Because um, if you imagine without these, if we just go slide to none, slide to none, I've got just a basic synth here. What I'd have to do is to change the input volume, I'd have to manually like press play and then I'd have to go change this to two or one or, or you know, whatever. Um, but with the widget, what we can do, and I'll show you here now, is we can uh, live change them as, we, as we're working to figure out the values that we want. So even if this is a value that we know is we want to set something and we don't want to change, uh, it can be quite easy to just sort of go in and so I can, you know, just turn the volume up here. That's a good level. I don't want it too loud. And then we can just change the frequency uh, here. Um, and so that's, you know, pretty much the basics of it. They've not introduced too much at the moment. Um, but, you know, uh, it's quite a useful thing to know how to do. Uh, and I'll keep it short. That's, uh, that's everything. Thanks. Hope this helps.